Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Diablo 4 using Lutris on Linux. Are you ready? Let's get into it. As always, we're going to start with a little bit of context. I already made a video about how to install Diablo 4 on Linux, but in this video I was showing you guys how to install it via the runner called Bottles. In my opinion, it's still the easier approach. But I know some of you, they want to use Lutris. To be super transparent with you, I've been using Lutris uh, since the launch of the game, and I had no issue at all with it. The concern with Lutris is that sometimes getting the install done is a little bit more complicated. And I'm going to show you why, and I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, go through those complications the easy way. So I don't really know if I need to introduce you to Lutris. If you don't know what it is, this software is a GUI that gives you the opportunity to run your game through Wine. I kind of like prefer it towards Bottle because even if it's a little bit more complex in terms of like installation, you can have more tweaking ability through this software. And that's the reason why I use it. So obviously it's free and you can download it for every, every distro. Like it's, it's everywhere. And if it's not there, you can still compile it. Personally, I use the Git version from the org. You can also like go directly on the on the GitHub and and get the latest version, like release version. It's it's pretty straightforward. So let 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 me show you how, how the install goes. We are using a VM right now with the latest Endeavor OS installed on it. It's my VM where I do all my uh, install. And then we're going to switch on my machine, but I just want to show you from scratch how it looks like. sudo pacman space dash capital S Lutris. Yes. Installed. If you look at it here, you can tell there is optional dependencies you can install too. So you could, dep you could install them by hand, all of them if you want. I won't be doing it in this tutorial, but what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to install the special like wine dependency, because obviously we're going to be using wine. So I'm using Endeavor OS here, which is based on Arch. Everything based on Arch, you can use that. You need to make sure your multilib is activated. So for doing that, you need to edit your pacman.conf. So let's see. I, I believe it is, but... It is activated. So what I need to do now, I already made an upgrade of the system before. So I'm going to copy that. Okay, and paste it here. Press enter. Say yes. And it's going to install everything for us. Should be pretty fast. Done. So now we have it. We can finally launch Lutris. It's on. I don't like how it look. Let me show the tray con. And let's go with a dark theme. Nice. It's better for our eyes, huh? First thing you want to do is make sure you have the latest version of Wine installed within Lutris. So you could use the system or you could add your specific version of Wine. So we're going to go with my favorite, Glorious Egg Again, thank you, dude, if you're watching this video. Uh, this guy is awesome. This, at the time I'm recording it, it's the Proton 8-8. Uh, you click install here. It's going to download it, extract it and specific uh, folder. And now you can install Battle.net. So here, this is why it's a little bit tricky. So follow me. You click on add game, search. You tap battle.net. Capital B, important. You click on it and then you just have to press install here, but it's a little bit tricky, so f follow it. 
I'm going to put the link, the important link in the description below. Uh, the one you actually need to look at. We're going to click install. So here, I don't want a desktop shortcut. You can do whatever you want here. I'm going to continue. Here, you're going to select download. You click on install. We are getting the installer. Now, Lutris is going to do all the heavy lifting here for us. We need to install the Winemon installer. Install, no problem. So, here is the log. If there is any type of issue, you should look at your log and see what's happening. I believe we shouldn't have any issues there because it, it, it's running well. But there is some case where you're going to be stuck during the install and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about them. Now the installer is actually here. You select your language. I'm going to go with English. It's going to update. It might take some time on certain machines, but it should be all right here. Okay, Battle.net installation. I, I don't like to launch Battle.net when my computer starts. It's going to be a no here. Click on continue. Well, you will see the trick. It's installing right now. But if you click on this Windows, do not attempt to log in to Battle.net. Once Battle.net has finished installing and the login window appears, simply close it. You will log in the next time you start the app. So it's kind of tricky because it's behind and you might sometimes not be able to see it. I did it the first time and it was a problem. So we are just going to wait. You will see the login window is going to pop up. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to close it. Don't log in here. You are just like, okay. We close. And then the script is continued to install uh, different like stuff behind the scene and make sure everything is all right. So we just have to wait here. And now it's done. I'm going to switch to my main machine to show you like in detail the type of issue you can encounter and how you can avoid them back on my main machine. So as you know, like I'm running Garuda those days, pretty solid to my taste. I want to just cover like one issue I had while I was installing Lutris. This issue is related to KDE itself. So I'm going to give this link in the description below just to make sure uh, you, you're going to have like a full detail list of all the issues you can have while installing Battle.net on Lutris. I won't cover all of them, but one I had, which was like super annoying, was related to my desktop environment. So as you can see, I'm running KG Plasma 5.27.5 on X11 with uh, RTX 1490. One thing I noticed is that when I was installing Battle.net, I had this error where the installer will just never appear, like just never. And if you look here, you're going to have the specific issue and what is the solution. So the installer window does not show up. Installation is stuck. Usually it's caused by missing wine dependency, but sometimes it's a result of an unknown bug in KGE. That's what I had. So the only workaround, and it's written here, there are no known workaround to this. So the only solution is to use another D. So when you look at this, you're going to be like, wow, so I can't, I can't use KDE. Well, you can, because look, I, I, I didn't start it and it's working for me. So the way you do this is you install, for example, like XFC, you, you just install another D. You log out or you restart your computer. And when you're going to arrive on, on the login windows, you're going to have an option to choose which desktop environment you want to go through. And then you choose XFC. You log into it, and then you go through the installation process. And you install it there. When it's installed, you can go back to KDE, and, and it's going to work. Super important. I would say if you have any other issue, just go to this link. I think it, it's pretty extensive you're, you're gonna find your solution there uh, let's talk about my settings for the blizzard battle net launcher within lutris so here there is nothing 
the game option, I didn't touch anything. The runner option, so you go, you selection advanced, make sure you have the, the right wine version here, the one you install. So here I'm just using the, the latest one. Uh, here, just make sure you have the latest version of everything. So you go down there, every, everything should be all right there. Mm, E-Sync and F-Sync, okay. Uh, this one you don't really need. Battle I, anti-cheat, as anti-cheat, you don't need either. This is still some type of option you can enable if you want to, but there is no need. The audio driver was causing me issue with my personal setup. So you can play with that if you have any type of issue, but here I let it on auto because everything seemed fixed. I think it was more like a game issue rather than a Linux issue. So here, nothing to do. Now the system option. I didn't change anything there. If you want to enable game mode, this is the one you need to, to uh, enable. And yeah, super important one. You need to activate the disable desktop effect. So this little option is going to disable your compositor. And what else? Disable screensaver, of course. Yeah, I didn't touch anything. I'm trying to remember. So here it's all good. Don't touch anything there too. So game execution. This one you can play if you want. Again, me personally, I didn't touch anything. I, di I didn't feel the need of changing anything. But let's say you want to capture your content with, with the OBS VK capture. This is where you will add the line. So we will go add. And here you will type OBS VK capture. And here you will type one. Done. Simple as that. And then you make sure in your OBS setting you are uh, capturing via OBS uh, VK capture. And it should be all good. And yeah, that's all. So before I launch it, I want to talk about those two installers here. I, I did try them. And uh, what you can do is you, you, you can actually like add those launchers here in your games. The only concern I have with them, they, they are just launching Battle.net. So I wouldn't recommend installing them. It kind of like takes some space here for nothing. And it just launched Battle.net. You can't launch the game on Linux uh, directly without like, you know, by bypassing the, the Battle.net launcher. You, you just can't do it. And to be fair, I know it was working before, like before launch. I don't know if you can do it anymore. I tried it offline. I couldn't make it work. So it would launch the game, but then I would have like an error message telling me you can't launch the game because you are not connected to Battle.net. So nah, not worth it. Let's launch it now. I'm going to show you. So you see it deactivated uh, the compositor. There is nothing special here. I just start play. Here we go. Yeah, the type of FPS you're gonna get is just insane. I believe it's one of the games that works best on Linux right now. Uh, from my small testing, I noticed the performance on Linux were above Windows. I might make a video about it, not sure yet, but it's, it's pretty impressive. So 333, 34 FPS while running the game in 1414p uh, with the RTX 1490. And it's not even the latest generation of CPU I have. I have a 5950X. So you could expect even more FPS uh, if, if you have a better hardware than I do. Yeah, and you can see, like, I have access to GLSS if I want. I have access to everything. It's, this is pretty cool. Really, really cool. That's it for this video. I hope it really helps you. If you gain any type of information of entertainment out of this video i really appreciate you to press the like button and the subscribe button to to go a little bit higher in the algorithm and make my uh, channel a little bit more visible to the rest of the community if you want to help me financially i would really appreciate that through my patreon membership or through my youtube membership it would be really nice uh, until then I wish you a really great rest of your day and see you in the next one. Take care. Bisous, bisous.